Hi there, so in this video we are going to see how to sort reshape and circular shift arrays in MATLAB. So let's start with our first example of sorting an array. So first thing, let's create one. I'm going to add some data here. So let's say I have this data in my array and I want to sort this. So I'm going to use sort and this function will take your array name and when you execute this it should sort the elements within your array so let's run this and sorry I have to display the above output okay so let's run that and here you see the element here is sorted in ascending order okay now if you want to display this in descending order then we can do another example let's say I have one more array and we're gonna make it look like something like this okay let's have it in matrix form and we have this okay now I want to sort this so for sort let's use our sort function then pass our matrix and then dimension is one dimension then order or mode is descend okay and it should be in single quote and once you do that you can also include this in display function and let's just save this okay now if i execute this it should show me sorting in descending order as you can see for each column it shows you in descending order okay this was for sorting your array now let's see how to reshape it okay let me just clear the command window now for sorting let's create one matrix let's make it four by four then okay then let's add two four six okay now here i want to reshape this so i'm going to use a reshape method and i'm going to pass my matrix and reshape let's say from two to six Okay, so this method will take total three argument in this case and you'll be able to display your new reshaped matrix okay in B so let's run this and as you can see you get your B as 2 by 6 matrix whereas you have this uh, 3 by 4 and that is now reshaped into 2 by 6 okay so this was a reshape example now there is one more case which is circular shifting so let's say i want to circular shift first dimension values down by one okay so we can take a look at that as well let's just say i have this matrix here which is one then two then three and then in the next column four and five and six and then seven and then eight and then nine okay and when i use this circular shifting i use v circular shift and here i use my a and then shift size i have to mention so let's say i want to so let's shift first dimension value down by one so i'm going to use one and colon and then simply use this method and pass my b for the output okay let me clear the window okay now let's run this and you get the output for circular shift you get seven eight nine and then for next we get one two three and then four by six Okay, these are done through each column respectively so you will find that your one goes 
one step down whereas four goes one step down and seven goes at the top same for rest of the columns okay so what we have seen is sort reshape and circular shift for arrays in MATLAB.